What's up boys, today I've got a different video today. I've got some messages between a killer and a survivor where the killer apparently tunneled and the survivor got upset about it and they kind of go back and forth a little bit and I just want to go over these messages because I feel like we've all kind of been in this situation, especially killer mains out there, we've all been in this situation where someone else is trying to tell you how to play the game and how to have fun and it's really annoying. So I just want to go over these messages because they're really interesting and um, yeah, let's just Let's just read them and uh, see what this person had to say, this salty survivor. Let's see what this salty, entitled survivor has to say this time. All right, so we've got Angel B 1528 who seems to be in the middle of a dispute with the survivor. All right, CMB Plate. So CMB Plate, the survivor, says, tunnel much? And Angel responds with, bro, what? I'm the killer. I'm supposed to kill, not play by your rules. Facts, facts, good point. CMB Plate says, oh, wow, he wrote a whole biblical scripture. Nice. <clears throat> Let's decipher this. So he says, LOL, you're supposed to hook and patrol, bro. It's the reason you're so bad at the game. You're relying on a broken mechanic to win. Wait, so tunneling is a broken mechanic now? What? Hmm. What about that is, I'm curious, like, what about that is uh, broken? I wouldn't say that's a broken mechanic. I mean, it's a very viable method to win the match. Especially against better teams, you see it take place in practically every single uh, tournament worth watching. You see the best killers on DVD do it all the time in tournaments. Watch any of his tournaments. What do you see? Tunneling, camping, proxy camping, etc., etc. You see it all. Uh, you will watch uh, some of the longest win streaks. What are they doing? Tunneling, camping, and doing all this. Same shit, same shit. They're playing me. You know, they're playing to win. So... It's weird that he, he calls that a broken mechanic, but at the highest level of DBD, um, you, you see it happen all the time. It's like the primary method of playing. I mean, you want to 12 hook a, a, a team with a combined total hour, like 20,000 hours. You think you're going to 12 hook them? Good luck. I mean, shit. It, it just tells me you've never actually played the game at a high MMR. That's, that's all that tells me. You've never played against actual good survivors because actual good survivors are not going to let you 12 hook them. If you've 12 hooked, a group of survivors i'm sorry to like break it to you but those weren't good survivors like they're, 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 those weren't good survivors like i'm sorry i gotta be the one to, like break that news to you but th those weren't good survivors but let's keep reading okay so he says uh you're relying on a broken mechanic to win instead of learning how to play and properly chase people well what is learning how to play i mean he won right i mean he he did win so i mean he did play properly he the killer killed all right, killer is the name of his role and he killed and survivor is the name of your role and you didn't survive. So technically you're the one who didn't play properly, but uh, okay, 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 let's just keep reading. He says, it says a lot about you. So, so now we're psychoanalyzing a player because of the way they chose to play a game, which is a very viable method of playing the game. Okay. Um, uh, it says you value winning, whatever that means over having fun. Well, some people consider winning having fun i mean are you like the the judge of fun now are you the deacon of fun i mean who are you to define fun i mean what if winning in tunneling or whatever just winning in general what if that is fun to angel who are you to decide that brother who are who just because you didn't have fun doesn't mean somebody else didn't have fun he probably had a blast you're just salty that's all that is um if you're gonna play a game that's gonna get you this salty then probably stop playing that game. I don't think it's healthy for you. Um, he says, also shows you've got no skill in the game. But he beat you, right? So if he has no skill, but he beats you, then, hmm, okay. If that's what makes sense in your head, sure, we can roll with that narrative. Um, uh, it says, uh, yeah, hook and patrol. You'll get much better, much faster, and have so much fo more fun, trust me. So once again, like, this person is, like, defining what fun is. He's, like... He, I, I guess he, he created the definition of fun. Interesting. Okay. And he says, you'll get much better, much faster. I mean, but he won. So like, is there any need to get any better than he already is if he, he won? <laughs> like, I don't understand that logic. You know what I mean? I don't understand how, like, okay. Um, and then he says, um, the fun is in the mind games, loops and gen management, not winning. I mean, but who are you to do? Like, bro, who is this entitled person like who is this guy bro who are you you think the entire world revolves around you and what you think and your goofy ass opinions like 
Okay, that may be fun to you. Like, that part of playing killer may be what you consider to be fun, but what if Angel thinks winning and tunneling or playing mean whatever killing as killer, what if he thinks that's fun? Who are you to define what is fun for everybody? You're literally a hall monitor, bro. Like you're trying to you're trying to monitor what everyone else thinks is this and that. Like, bro, you're you're mad controlling. Calm down, bro. Like you <laughs> Like, I'm sorry your parents never taught you this, brother, but you not everything revolves around you and what you think, okay? You don't decide, like, what's fun or whatever for anybody. You can only decide that for yourself. So, I mean, cry about it. And then Angel says, ah, yes. So, basically, make the game impossible for me and let y'all escape so y'all enjoy it. Gotcha. And, yeah, that's basically what this person is saying. Is like, This person is salty because you didn't play in a way that enabled them to win. And because you did that, well, then oh, you're the, you know, party pooper and you're not fun and you don't know what you're doing. You're bad at the game and da everything else under the sun that like salty survivors throw at you if you beat them. Um, yeah, man, that's kind of funny. It's just kind of funny. This is a funny little dispute here. Um, Angel, keep it up, man. If you got people reacting like this after you've beaten them, then you clearly did something right. So, yeah. All right. So there's more to this story. Oh, my God. This is getting juicy. CMB plate says you're obviously not getting it if the game is impossible for you if you don't tunnel wait What was that sentence? You need to up your skill level I could tell you were lacking in practice in skill if you hook and patrol you take more chases Have more fun and get better at the game much faster Plus you'd have the respect of everyone win or lose keep playing like that and you'll almost certainly never get better Okay, but what are we defining as good? I mean like if winning the match is the result he was looking for and he played in a way that enabled him to win the match then why would he need to get any better that like if that's working for him then it's working for him if it ain't broke don't fix it i mean shit like who are you to you know like i'm, I'm just curious here like not everybody that tunnels tunnels because they need to because they're not good enough to like do this that or the third all right, like you just can't kill a lot of survivors fast enough, especially at a high MMR. You just, it's not possible to kill them fast enough, one by one by one by one, especially if they have like a bunch of second chance perks and they know how all the loops work, especially if there's a map offering involved, etc. It all depends on the map as well, like the killer, etc. Like, there, it's not, in many ways, it isn't even possible to accomplish that, especially against good survivors. So, what are you talking about? Like, this person. Like, I don't think they've ever played killer at a high level. I genuinely don't think that because like everything they're saying is, is what is like signaling that to me. It's like, I could tell you were lacking in practice and skill. What could you tell from the entity's grasp as you were levitating in the air that he lacked in practice and skill? He killed you. How could you tell anything? He, you were dead. You were dead. You didn't win. <laughs> like, how can you, bro, how, he beat you and you're talking about, I could tell that you were lacking in practice and skill. Brother. You died. What do you mean? Like what? And then um, he goes on to say, if you hook with Troy, you take more chases, have more fun. And here he goes, like trying to like decide what fun is for everybody. Plus, you'd have the respect of everyone win or lose. That is such a bullshit lie. Do you know how many times I've played nice, like on my own time or whatever? I've played nice, twelve hooking people. I'm listening to music and Discord or talking, just chilling, vibe, and not really like trying to play to win. And I get teabagged and clicked at and get hey messages on my Instagram, on my YouTube comments, on my Xbox messages. Are you shitting me? This is how I know this person does not play killer. You don't play killer. Because if you play nice and they get a win, you're not going to have anybody's respect. They're going to make fun of you. They're going to clown on you. Are you kidding me? They're going to wait the timer out if they get a four-man escape, but you want it to be nice and you had to eat a bunch of second chance perks. They're not, they in their minds, in survivors' minds, they don't think they won because you were just nice and they respect you for it. They think they won because they're better than you and they're going to rub it in. That's what they do all the time. That's why so many people leave this game because it's unbearable to play as killer against people when you have to play nice. So then you're forced to tunnel or play an OP killer and then everyone's bitching like you are. So there's really no way to win. Is it keep playing like that? Like y'all saw the other day, what I what did I do? What did I do? The other day I played nice to keep people in the game to prevent them from quitting. And what happened to me? I got teabagged at gate. This literally happened what, a day ago, two days ago. So that just proves you wrong. What do you mean? You're talking about respect. What are you talking about? It says, keep playing like that and you'll almost certainly never get better. I don't, he's getting the result he wants. So like, what do you care? What, what what do you care? If he's getting, if he's winning and that's what he's shooting to do, then I don't, I don't know. This, this person is kind of funny. What a lot of people need to understand is that some people find fun in things that you don't find fun. And that's okay. I mean, if somebody thinks holding down a three gen or tunneling and camping is fun, then I mean, they're entitled to think that that's fun. That's their own right. Fun is 
subjective you know what i mean like it's there you know that's that's what they find fun all right and that may not be fun to you and you may not find that fun yourself but you just because from your perspective you can't see how that's fun doesn't mean that they are not allowed to think that is fun there are people that think holding three gens with skull merchant or singularity is an absolute blast and they love it and they find fun in that and that is okay whether you agree with it or not that is what that person finds fun and what a lot of survivor mains do is like just because they think or uh, like they didn't have fun in the process of somebody else having fun that, that it's like not fun for anybody like no it was fun for that person and you know it is what it is move on to the next lobby you may get a killer that plays in a way that you find fun but at the end of the day you will seldomly find fun when losing and it's it's really difficult to like like you're saying you know you should find fun in the chase and then that and that but that means that he's likely going to lose because if he's playing at a high mmr depending on what y'all brought etc etc the perks the map etc so naturally he's going to play in a way that he finds fun and he's likely going to win because that is part of you know what he finds fun and that's okay i mean and you're likely going to lose because he, he's, he's focused on his fun. He's not focused on your fun, and he he doesn't have to be. He do, It's a competition in the end. It's him versus your team, okay? And there's going to be a loser either way. Someone's got to lose. And one of these sides are not going to find losing fun. Point blank, period, full stop. One of these sides are not going to find losing fun. So stop trying to dictate how the game should be played and what is fun and what's not. At the end of the day... If you don't find fun in just the process of the game, win or lose, if you don't find fun in simply playing the game, then stop playing the game. The game is not for you because I highly doubt that you would be bitching to this degree if you're the one that won. Whether he tunneled or not, you would not be this upset about it because you won, you had your fun, that's all you wanted. So, you know, maybe take the game a little less serious. Don't only find fun in winning or don't only find fun if a killer plays a certain way and just play the game to play the game and have fun playing the goddamn game. Holy shit. People take a freaking asymmetric party game way too goddamn serious. I mean, like, we got people quitting in every lobby, and I'm over here, like, bro, I have to delete so much footage because people just keep quitting because, uh, it's not a killer I find fun, I gotta quit. Then don't play the game because those killers are in the game, they're part of the game, you're likely gonna go against them. Don't play the game then. I mean, shit, you, you clearly don't like the game. Stop playing it. It's just so weird to me, I don't know. Now, I will give CMB Plate this. At least he didn't harass him or say anything crazy, you know what I mean? Because... Very rarely do I get somebody like this in my messages who don't like lay into me and say crazy things to me. So I'll give them that. But I think you're very misguided. You're, you're trying to tell somebody else how to have fun. Like that's like actually step out of your own body and analyze your behavior right now. Analyze your actions from a third person point of view. Okay. That's what you're doing. You're trying to actually sit here and explain in paragraphs how somebody else should be having fun in a video game. Like, doesn't that sound like a really silly and pointless endeavor trying to explain to somebody else how they should be having fun on a video game? I mean, like, that's really weird, right? So maybe, like, don't do that, brother. Like, maybe just don't do that because you look like a fool right now and you're over here typing biblical scriptures on how other people should have fun in a video game. If you don't find the video game fun, stop playing the video game. I want y'all to check this out real quick before I end this video. So look at these builds. Only two of these are gen progression perks okay out of all these things you know you got fixated and you got flashbang flashbang head on head on quick and quiet quick and quiet like none of these are you know sprint burst windows opportunity fog wise you don't really have any you know, any any gen speed perks at all here except for this person right here who brought um uh fog wise stake out and hyper focus that's all you got all right just this right here right i want to show you something real quick two minutes in 56 seconds, it actually popped at 56, but we can say 57. At two minutes and 57 seconds in, we are already at one gen. We're already at one gen. I literally didn't even have time to do anything. Two gens popped before I even got from one side of the freaking map to the other. In under three minutes, four gens can pop. Four. In under three minutes. You see the problem here? For those who say, oh, you don't have to tunnel. You don't have to do this. Oh, all you gotta do is do a chase and, and uh, manage gens and what? Brother. You can't even get across the map without two gens popping immediately. You can't even set up if you're a setup killer. You don't even have time. Four gens. 
in under three minutes. Four gens popped. What can you do? And mind you, they didn't even bring toolboxes, and only one person brought three decent gen progression perks. The rest brought like bullshit, really. They just brought bullshit. No toolboxes. And they were still able to pop four gens in under three minutes. Let that shit actually sink in. Let that shit actually sink in. And I still had them like this in the end, but they were able to crawl out before I could lock in the tie. It is what it is. But you see what I'm dealing with, though? Under three minutes, four gens are popping. What can you make happen on a map? Bro, from, from where I spawned to get to the main building, two gens are finished, bro. <laughs> like, what do you want me to do? And mind you, look, I didn't even load in until four seconds in, and it popped actually at two minutes and 56 seconds. So you can shave some time off that shit as well. You can shave some time. <laughs> this shit is insane, dude. It's insane how fast gens are flying. Like, what, what can you realistically do about it unless you're playing an incredibly high tier killer with really good map traversal? What can you do about that? And you can see my build. I was going for a basement trapper build, but you see the problem though regardless like do you see the problem like you can't you can't get creative and that's the problem is this is why killers can't have fun they're they're forced into these play styles because it's impossible to win without playing a very specific way i mean like i brought a bullshit build just to have fun and try something different and i got punished brutally for it because four gents popped in under three minutes i mean like what what you expect me to not bring grim embrace you expect me to not bring deadlock you expect me to not bring some gem regression in the same old bullshit you have to see every single match but you have people loading in these matches we're trying to finish these matches as fast as possible what is the point but you're just forced into these cookie cutter ass builds and these bullshit you know tunnel and can't but you're forced into it killers don't do this because they want to all the time like bro if you don't do this shit, you get four gents popped in under three minutes. What do you want people to do, bro? What do you want them to do about it? Like, if gens are flying that fast, obviously, you know, I'm never going to bring a build like this again. I'm not going to bring a build where I'm just trying to get creative and have fun and try new things out, experiment a little, you know? I'm not going to do this if the game is going to be finished in under three minutes. What's the point? <laughs> like, wh what's the point?